Welcome to the December edition of Bridge to India's monthly update on renewable power tenders. We will start with annual trends. 2022 saw an increase in tender issuances by nearly 10% at 35 gigawatt, but total auction capacity fell by 47% year on year to just 11 gigawatt, a five year low. Of this, state agencies led by Maharashtra and Gujarat auctioned a total of 7 gigawatt. Average tariff in solar auctions during the year was 2.66 per unit as compared to 2.32 per unit last year. For wind projects, the average tariff climbed from Rs 2.77 per unit to 2.91, while hybrid tariffs increased by 15% year-on-year from 2.48 per unit to 2.85 per unit. SGVN was the surprise top solar project winner with an allocated capacity of 1,095 megawatt followed by Fortum and Tata. In wind, GSECL was the leading winner with 40 megawatt capacity followed by EDF and Scatec. Tata Power led the solar wind hybrid auctions by a large margin with total wins of 1,310 megawatt and it was followed by NTPC and Renew. Let us now look at developments in December. The month saw utility scale tenders totaling 4,963 megawatt being issued, up 209% over November. 13 new tenders were issued, 9 in project development mode with a total capacity of 4,953 megawatt and 4 in EPC mode with total capacity of 10 megawatt. Two new EPC sub-tenders were also issued during the month. Eight new rooftop tenders were issued with a total capacity of 39 megawatt. Results were announced for five project development tenders, including an energy storage tender and two EPC tenders, including a BOS sub-tender. Bid submission deadlines were extended for 20 tenders. Now let us dive into details of select project development tenders issued in this month. REC Power Development and Consultancy issued a 1,250 MW Pan-India Solar Tender on behalf of NTPC and a 500 MW Pan-India Solar Tender on behalf of Damodar Valley Corporation. Both tenders are issued under the Scheme for Flexibility in Generation and Scheduling of Thermal Power or Hydro Power Stations. The scheme allows thermal power developers to set up renewable projects whose power may be sold under existing PPAs. The savings realized by replacing conventional power must be split equally with the off-takers. REC PDCL has been designated as one of the bid process coordinators for this scheme along with NVVN and PFC. Rajasthan has issued an 810 megawatt solar tender with a project to be set up in a 2 gigawatt solar park in Bikaner. This is the first major tender issued by Rajasthan in three years. The state has historically preferred to buy power from SECI as a secondary off-taker. Adani Electricity Mumbai, the Mumbai Discom, has issued a 750 megawatt tender to procure round-the-clock RE power with a 100% green shoe option. At least 51% of the power must be supplied from renewable sources. Only one RE source is allowed. Operational projects or those under construction can participate in the tender. Co-location of different project components is not a requirement. Any shortfall in share of REPA will incur penalty of 400% of applicable tariff per unit of shortfall. Annual, monthly and peak shortfall in availability is permitted up to 10% beyond which penalties equivalent to fixed tariff will be applicable for each unit of shortfall. Commissioning timeline is set at 24 months. Maharashtra issued three agricultural solar tenders aggregating 1,300 megawatt. The state surprisingly continues to issue such tenders in large volumes despite poor track record. It has issued agri-feeder tenders aggregating approximately 14 gigawatt capacity till date, out of which only 2 gigawatt has been allocated because of low ceiling tariffs and small project sizes. Similarly, out of the 4.4 gigawatt Kusum tenders issued so far, only 203 megawatt capacity has been allocated. Maharashtra has issued a 300 megawatt wind tender with a PPA tenure of 12 years or less 
depending on remaining life of older projects. All operational projects with PPAs expiring by 2024 are eligible for participation. Ceiling tariffs have been set at 2.65 per unit. Maharashtra has contracted around 2,226 megawatt wind capacity under feed-in tariff scheme with PPA tenures of 12 to 13 years. The state is aiming to tie up power from these older projects at relatively low tariffs. SJVN issued two solar EPC subtenders, first for a 125 megawatt project in Bihar, one under Breda 250 megawatt tender in August 2021, and the second for a 100 megawatt Gujarat project, one under GUVNL Tranche 13 tender in March 2022. Results were announced for four project development tenders and one EPC tender in December. SECI completed auctions for its 1,200 megawatt Pan India Wind Tranche 13 tender. Only 600 megawatt capacity was allocated as bidders with tariffs higher than L1 plus 2% were disqualified. SJVN, O2 and SCATEC were the three winners at tariffs ranging between 2.9 to 2.95 per kilowatt hour, more or less flat since the last SECI wind auction in May 2022. This tender marks SCATEC's entry into the Indian market. In TPDDL's 250 MW Pan India Solar Wind Hybrid Tender, Tata Power won the entire capacity with a bid of 3 rupees per kilowatt hour. This was the DISCOM's first solar wind hybrid tender for long-term procurement and the company has exercised 100% green shoe option. Maharashtra conducted two auctions in the month. In the much-anticipated Pan India Solar Wind Storage Hybrid 250 MW auction, Ayana and NTPC both bid a peak power tariff of Rs 9 per kilowatt hour for capacities of 100 and 250 MW respectively. Power supply during solar generation hours is fixed at Rs 2.42 per kilowatt hour and developers were required to bid for non-solar generation hour tariff. We estimate the blended cost of power at approximately 5.5 rupees per kilowatt hour. It remains to be seen if the DISCOM will go ahead with the purchase of expensive power. We understand that it is trying to re renegotiate tariffs with both bidders. Tata Power, SJVN and Solar Rise were the winners in MSEDCL Solar Tranche 9 500 megawatt tender. Solar Rise 100 megawatt at a tariff of 2.9 per kilowatt hour while SJVN and Tata Power won 200 megawatt capacity each at tariffs of 2.95 and 2.97 per kilowatt hour respectively. The average tariff was 4% higher than in MSEDCL's previous solar auction in September 2022. SECI awarded a 30 megawatt EPC tender to Gensol on behalf of DVC to set up floating solar projects in West Bengal and Jharkhand at DVC's thermal power stations. The contract value was 2.3 billion rupees. Result was also announced for SJVN's 90 megawatt floating solar sub tender for a project it won under the RUMS 300 megawatt floating solar tender. LNT was awarded the contract. We expect January to also see robust tendering activity and the increased pace of tender issuances are likely to continue through first half of the year. Auctions are also likely to pick up based on anticipated bid submission dates, assuming that there are no deadline extensions. This concludes our tender updates for December 2022. We hope you found this update useful. You can view all projects, tenders, policy and regulatory updates, and much more information on the renewable sector in real time at India RE Navigator. Please write your comments and feedback to contact at richrindia.com. We will be back early next month with a fresh update. Thank you.